Hi and welcome back to class of product development and entrepreneurship. I am Hitesh Sayani, assistant professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is lecture third, generic development process. The learning outcome of these lectures are uh, to learn the generic development process and product life cycle. So first we learn the generic development process and then we learn product life cycle. So a generic development process, before we learn the generic development process, we learn what is process. <clears throat> so process is a sequence of steps that transforms a set of inputs into the set of outputs. So whatever the step between a set of inputs and the set of outputs, these whole steps are known as the process. Next is the product development process. So as you know the what is process, now what is the product development process? So it is a sequence of steps or activities which an enterprise employs to conceive, design and commercialize a product. <coughs> so product development process is nothing but the, uh, the steps which is required from input to the final launching product in a market. So here I uh, source the generic product development process and here in generic development process there are six steps. The first step of generic development process is the planning, then next is the concept development, then followed by the system level design and then next detailed designs, uh, then after testings and then enforcement, refinement and the then uh, production ramp up. So these five or uh, these six steps of generic product development process we have to learn. So first phase or first step of generic product development process is the plan. So planning activities is often referred as a phase zero. It uh, proceeds the project approval, launch the actual product development process, all these things is considered under the planning phase. And uh, if you look at the outputs of this planning phase is the project mission statement uh, which specifies the target market of the product, uh, business goals, key assumptions and constraints. So this is the output of planning phase. Next, concept development. So what is concept? A concept is a description of form, functions and feature of product. Uh, the needs of the target market are identified in this phase. Uh, alternate product concepts are generated and evaluated. So as you know the concept, uh, what is concept? So in this case, uh, uh, alternate product concepts are generated and that is also evaluated in this phase. And one or more concepts are selected for the further development and testing. So after concept development, the next is the system level design. So system dev uh, level designs includes the definitions of product architectures and decompositions of the product into sub-assembly and parts. And so the final assembly scan for the product systems is usually defined during this phase. So uh, in general, in this uh, stage or in this step, the generally the product architecture is defined and decompositions of a product uh, into the sub-assemblies and parts. And uh, also the finalizations of the assembly for the product system is usually defined in this particular step. Uh, so, and also as well uh, preliminary process flow diagram for the final assembly process is also done. 
Next is the detailed designs. So detailed design files include the complete specifications of uh, geometry, materials and tolerance of all of the unique parts in the product. So it is nothing but the specifications of geometry, material and tolerance include in the product. Outputs of this tab is uh, the specification of the purchase part and the drawings or computer files describe geometry of each part and its production tool. So here the computer file describing the geometry of each part, you can say the CAD file. Next is the uh, testings and refinement. So in this phase, uh, the the phase involves the constructions and evolutions of multiple pre-functional version of the product. So think in mind, here the pre-functional version of the product is evoluted and constructed and evoluted. So first the early alpha prototypes are usually built with the same material and same geometry as intended for the production's version of the product and later beta prototypes are usually built with the part supplied by the intended production's process and then last is the product ramp up so in this product ramp up phase the product is made using the intended product uh, system the purpose of this ramp up is to train the worker or workforce and work out the any remaining problems in the production process. So before going to production of actual product, uh, this uh, production ramp up first identify the remaining problems in the production process. Next is the product life cycles here uh, i saw the product life cycles and here you can see uh, there are two cows one is uh, green cows and the second is the pink cows so green cows shows the sales of that particular product and uh, the pink cows shows the profit of products and if you look at the timeline they are time scale uh, there are different stages uh, like product development, introduction, growth, maturity and decline. And vertical is you can say the sales and profit respectively. So this is the product life cycles and you can see that in product development uh, stage there are no uh, sales of your product because you are, your product is undergoing through development. So, at the end of product development, your product is launched in the market. So, outputs of your product development is the your product is launched in the market. So, once your product is launched in the market, your product life cycle is start. So, here in the figures, you can say that uh, introduction phase. Uh, so, introduction phase is the your product is introducing in the market is uh, called as the introduction phase and then growth and maturity and decline. So first uh, we think that market introduction stage. So in market introduction stage, uh, costs are very high because uh, we are going to uh, less uh, sales volume or less sales scale and also the customer awareness is less in this particular stage and uh, there are no competition as competition is uh, not occurs but the awareness of customer is less so the so slow sales volume to start so in figures you can see that uh, here the uh, your product is start gradually selling and uh, but still in this phase your profit is in negatives so at the end of the production uh, stage 
you will get the break even point and that is nothing but the no rocking the normals so at the end of the uh, production stage of your product life you will get the break even point there that is there are no profit no loss then next is the growth stage so in growth stage post reducing uh, due to the economics of scales here the production volume is increased and sales volume is increasing significantly profitability being to rise profit is increased and public awareness is also increased so after the introduction stage uh, all uh, customers awareness regarding the product so public awareness increase so your sales of product is increased and also your profit of your product is also increased and next stage uh, is a maturity stage so if you look at the graph of this product life cycles here the your sales is on peak so green cow shows on the peak and your profit is also in so <clears throat> the cost are decrease as a result of production volume increase so production volume is increase your sales is increase and sales volume peaks and market saturation is decrease so in this growth a maturity stage your market uh, saturation is reached so there are the peak point on sales volume and increasing in competitor in enter in the market so at this stage also uh, your competitor is in the market so you have to uh, compromise with profit you have to customize your product you have to optimize your cost you have to redefine your selling price so ultimately the profit will be decreases so industrial profit uh, go down and then next is the decline so here uh, uh, in maturity stage uh, you have a lots of competitors and uh, Uh, you have to uh, effort to sustain in a market, and then uh, decline stage is coming. So in decline stage, cost becomes counter optimal, optimal uh, sales volume decline, precise profitability, uh, profitability uh, diminishes, and profit becomes more challenging of production. So there are my nothing profit in this decline stage. so ultimately the product life is over at the end of the decline as your profit becomes more challenging of products so in this lectures we learn the first the generic product development process and product life cycles so in generic product development process we learn the six stage of generic product development process and product life cycles we learn the different stages of product life cycles like introduction growth maturity and decline stage so thank you